The Peloponnesian War was a monumental conflict in ancient Greece, lasting from 431 to 404 BC. It pitted the mighty city-state of Athens against the formidable Sparta. The roots of the conflict lay in the growing tension between these two powerful states. Athens, known for its naval prowess and democratic governance, was growing in influence. Sparta, a land-based powerhouse with a rigid militaristic society, felt threatened by Athenian expansion. This tension escalated into full-blown war after a series of smaller conflicts and disagreements. The war is chronicled primarily by the historian Thucydides, who provided a detailed and often brutally honest account. The conflict can be divided into three main phases, the Arcadamian War, the Sicilian Expedition, and the Ionian or Decelian War. Understanding these phases helps in grasping the full scope and impact of the Peloponnesian War. Athens and Sparta were the two dominant city-states in ancient Greece. Athens was a beacon of democracy, philosophy, and the arts, boasting a powerful navy that controlled the Aegean Sea. Sparta, in contrast, was a warrior society with citizens trained for battle from a young age. The Delian League, led by Athens, was originally formed as a defense against Persian aggression. The Peloponnesian League, led by Sparta, included many of the mainland Greek city-states. The tension between these two leagues grew as Athens extended its influence and control. The spark that ignited the conflict was a series of disputes involving smaller allies of both powers. Athens's interference in these disputes was seen as overreach, leading to Sparta's declaration of war. Both sides employed different strategies, leveraging their strengths. Athens relied on its naval superiority, while Sparta's strategy was based on its unmatched land forces. The Peloponnesian War saw several key battles that determined the ebb and flow of power. Early battles like Sebota and Potidaea set the stage for the conflict. Pericles' strategy used Athens' navy to raid the Peloponnesian coast. This led to a devastating plague in Athens, killing many, including Pericles. The Sicilian expedition aimed to expand Athens' influence but ended in disaster. The Athenian fleet was destroyed and thousands were captured or killed. Sparta, with Persian support, built a navy to challenge Athens. The Battle of Aegospotami in 405 BC was decisive, leading to Spartan victory. The Peloponnesian War had profound social effects on ancient Greece. The prolonged conflict caused widespread suffering and displacement, with many cities destroyed and populations decimated. In Athens, the war disrupted daily life and strained the democratic system, leading to social unrest. Many citizens lost faith in their leaders and the political system, giving rise to demagogues who exploited public fear and anger. The war also affected the social structure of Sparta, straining their resources and exposing weaknesses in their rigid social hierarchy. Women in both Athens and Sparta experienced changes due to the war, taking on more responsibilities as men went off to fight. In Sparta, the social upheaval led to a temporary increase in the influence of women. The war's social impact was complex and far-reaching, affecting every aspect of Greek life. The brutality and the plague in Athens led to a decline in traditional values and a rise in cynicism and despair. The Peloponnesian War irrevocably changed Greece's political landscape. Athens' defeat ended its golden age, starting a period of instability. The city's walls were torn down, its fleet dismantled. Sparta's victory was short-lived due to weakened resources. The rigid Spartan system struggled to maintain control. Thebes and Corinth challenged Sparta, leading to further conflicts. Constant warfare left Greece fragmented and vulnerable. Thucydides' analysis influenced later political theorists. The Peloponnesian War offers valuable lessons for modern audiences. It underscores the dangers of hubris and the limits of power, with Athens' ambition to dominate the Greek world ultimately leading to its downfall. The war illustrates how prolonged conflict can erode societal values and lead to internal decay. Both Athens and Sparta had strengths but were hampered by their rigid strategies, highlighting the importance of strategic thinking and adaptability. The Athenian disaster in Sicily is a stark reminder of the risks of overextension. Similarly, Sparta's inability to adapt its social and political systems ultimately led to its decline. The war's impact on democratic Athens serves as a cautionary tale about the strain of war leading to social and political fragmentation. The rise of demagogues and the erosion of democratic principles in Athens resonate with contemporary concerns about political polarization. 
Understanding the causes and consequences of past conflicts can inform present-day decision-making, with Thucydides' work encouraging a critical examination of power dynamics and human behavior.